clocks help us to manage time. A clock has a face, and two hands, which move around in a clockwise direction, during the day and night. The small hand moves slowly in relation to the big hand. The clock tells us both hours and minutes of the day using these hands. The day is divided into 12 equal parts, called hours. On the face of the clock, there is writing, equally spaced and read from 1 to 12, representing the hours. This tells us the hour of the day. The small hand moves between these numbers. When the small hand moves from 1 to 2 then 1 hour has lapsed, and so on. In one revolution of the small hand, 12 hours have lapsed. In each hour there are 60 minutes. The circle of the clock is divided into 60 equal parts called the minutes, shown in red. These are not normally shown on the clock, but we have showed them in our clock. You don't have to remember all of them. Just remember the minutes at the hour positions, 3, 6, 9. The big hand points to the minutes of the hour of the day we are in. There are 60 minutes in an hour. The big hand travels through one revolution in one hour. During this time the small hand slowly moved from one digit to the next, showing one hour as elapsed. When the big hand moves from position 12 to 3 position, then 15 minutes has lapsed, also called a quarter, because the big hand has moved a quarter of a circle, as shown in red. When the big hand moves from position 12 to the 6 position, then 30 minutes have lapsed also called a half, because the big hand has moved a half of a circle, as shown in red. When the big hand moves from position 12 to the 9 position then 45 minutes has lapsed, because the big hand has moved 3 quarters of a circle, as shown in red. When the big hand moves from say, position 12 and goes around once, and back to position 12, then 60 minutes has lapsed. During this time the small hour hand will have slowly moved from one digit to the next digit. For example, from 1 to 2. Next, in this video, we will look at reading the time on the clock face. In this lesson we will read, learn, and practice the time when the big hand is at the 12 position. So, let's get started. This clock is reading 1 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 1. Now you say 1 o'clock. This clock is reading 2 o'clock because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 2. Now you say 2 o'clock. This clock is reading 3 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 3. Now you say 3 o'clock. This clock is reading 4 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 4. Now you say 4 o'clock. This clock is reading 5 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 5. Now you say 5 o'clock. This clock is reading 6 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 6. Now you say 6 o'clock. This clock is reading 7 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 7. 
Now you say 7 o'clock. This clock is reading 8 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 8. Now you say 8 o'clock. This clock is reading 9 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 9. Now you say 9 o'clock. This clock is reading 10 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 10. Now you say 10 o'clock. This clock is reading 11 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 11. Now you say 11 o'clock. This clock is reading 12 o'clock, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and small hand is pointing to 12. Now you say 12 o'clock. In this exercise, there are 12 questions, which are all of the same type. You will have 10 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. In each question, just shout out loudly the time you see on the clock face. Visit our website for more videos. What time is on this clock? 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 What time is on this clock?
We also can write time in numbers, for example the time on the clock shown on the right can be written as 1 o'clock. We write the hour first, followed by the minutes. We write a colon between the hour and the minutes. Following slides show you how to write the 12 hours of the clock in number form. Learn them very carefully. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Twelve o'clock. In this exercise, there are 12 questions, which are all of the same type. You will have 15 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. In each question, rewrite the time you see on the clocks in number form. Answer for this exercise can be found on our website. What is the time in numbers? 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 What is the time in numbers?
What is the time in numbers? What is the time in numbers? What is the time in numbers? What is the time in numbers? In this exercise, there are 30 questions, which are all of the same type. You will have 24 seconds to do 3 question. If you need more time, just pause the video. There are 3 clocks on each page. In each question, rewrite the time you see on the clocks in number form. Answer for this exercise can be found on our website. Write these clock times in numbers. 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 Write these clock times in numbers.
write these clock times in numbers. Write these clock times in numbers. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos, so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.